Hey guys, welcome to my new channel called Stefan Loves Cuphead. Because Stefan loves Cuphead. And today we're going to be doing a guide on the root pack. Um, yeah, so all these items on the screen is what I have equipped in. So the roundabout, the crack shot, super art one, and smoke bomb. I'm going to be doing commentary over it, teaching you basically what to do. So yeah, this is mainly for, obviously for beginners. <laughs> Well, like even for these fights are easy for the beginners, so let's get into it. Okay, so for me, this fight is either the easiest or the second easiest fight. So if you have a roundabout, you're just going to want to turn around and just shoot backwards because it gives you maximum range. And then you just uh, want to try and parry these. We killed that guy first. And now we're on to the onion. Just keep on using a roundabout. You don't really need to use a chaser or crack shot for these stages. It's only really for uh, the last stage because of the carrots that fall. I still don't use it, but I highly suggest it for beginners because you might not be good at aiming. Uh, I uh, suggest you use your super right here. And now you're going to kill all the mini carrots that are coming. See, that would be a bit harder for beginners to do. So you just want to use your roundabout to shoot at him. And then when the carrot phase comes, you could uh, switch to your chaser or crack shot to shoot all those and also shoot him at the same time. And we got a knockout. So that's how easy this boss really is. So yeah, everyone, that was the guide on the root pack. Um, today or tomorrow, I'll be doing a guide on Goopy Legrand. So stay tuned for that. Turn your notification bell on, like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to beat Goopy Legrand. So this, this is a guide on Goopy Legrand. So, the weapons you will be needing are literally only roundabout. You need roundabout, and then smoke dash, and super art one, or super art three. Okay, so let's get into the fight. So this boss, in my opinion, easiest boss in all of the game. Uh, so when he's jumping around like this on his first stage, you just use a uh, roundabout. Well, wait, you use roundabout for every stage. Uh, okay, so you have to crouch when he does that attack. So when he leans back, you just crouch, and you basically get dodge. And he takes a pill, which you can parry these question marks, and he gets way bigger. So he's going to do bigger bouncing moves, and you can use your super art here. But he's going to have bigger bounces. And with, when he does his pop, punching bag, you just crouch, just like when he did the head slam. Okay, now he's dead, so he's basically going to be in a grave now. So you're just going to jump around and smoke dash away from his... uh from his slam, like when he slams when he's the grave. And there, you got an easy knockout. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's basically it. So th I think this should be a shorter video than the other one, because uh, easier boss. So yeah, these are two videos today, maybe three. I might do a guide on uh, the flower boy, flower boy. Maybe three videos today, but if not, then Flower Boy tomorrow. Flower Boy and Ribby and Croak probably tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and leave a comment down below. So yeah, peace. Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. And today, this is the guide on... What is this guy's name? Cagney Carnation. So I'm going to be showing you how to beat... Cagney Carnation. So, once again, I know, I know, I know. I'm using the roundabout. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just such a good weapon, and that's what I use. I, it's just, I recommend it. And you can also use Crack Shot. You can use Crack Shot in a Chaser also, if you want to. So yeah, let's uh, get into the tutorial. Okay, so for Cagney, mainly, I, should, I usually use the roundabout. Just like get on this first platform, shoot him in the face. When he does those attacks, 
You have to do it on the top of the bottom, just covering the whole part of that section. So you can uh, lock down, and he'll shoot these seeds, which one of them you can parry. And they come out with like, these chomping plants, and that orange one that's flying will open its mouth and shoot a, shoot a pink one at you. So it gets in the way of like these uh, acorns that are shooting, that he's shooting at me too. Yeah, so these acorns are really easy to dodge, and you, you can just crouch under these. Uh, they go from the top to the bottom, so. He's shooting, she's gonna, he's gonna shoot more seeds. And I, we're just gonna kill them with a roundabout. And now we're on the final stage. Final stage completely covers the whole bottom with the vine. I'm gonna use my super out here. So it completely covers all of it with the vine. And she, he shoots pollen. Which some of you can parry and some of you do not. And there's vines that shoot up. And yeah, so easy win. Hey guys, so that was the guide on Cagney Carnation. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope this helped you in your Cuphead adventures. So stay tuned for Ribbery and Croaks. Make sure to hit that bell so you know. And yeah, hit that subscribe button, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video, and today... This is a guide on Ribby and Croaks. Uh, so the things that you'll be using in this are Roundabout, Chaser, Crackshot, Super R1, Smoke Dash. So let's get into the guide. Okay, so for Ribby and Croaks, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta turn around and shoot your Roundabout. Unless that guy's shooting. You can change to crack shot or chaser just to get these flies or sheeps or whatever you want to call them. And then when this guy does his attack, you go to like the back and you jump over the first one, then crouch, and then jump over the last one, and then j crouch. And just do that every time. It's very easy to kill them like that. And then this guy's going to roll. You can dash through him or jump dash over him. And then they're going to do this fan and then clap like attack. So basically you just want to run forwards and push through the fan and then go back when the thing's coming towards you. So that's basically the strategy. And then this is pretty easy when there's no fan. So basically you just want to keep on running forwards away from those. Okay, so for this next phase, uh, this frog is going to eat the other frog. I just dash straight through them. And then they start into a slot machine. You can either get frog, bull or tiger so here I got tiger tiger is basically just a ball bouncing in like a hole I use my super art and you just gotta run back and forth like this like what I'm doing on the screen right now it's pretty difficult but you can get used to it once you play it lots of times so you gotta dodge these coins and then parry the fist so you can unlock the next area you can't do damage to it until you do parry the fist Okay, so this is the frog stage. It's just a bunch of platforms that you have to jump on. This isn't the easiest one for me. So yeah, you're just going to keep on jumping and shooting, and there's a knockout. I'm going to show you the bull one in a second here, but that's a knockout. Okay, so for this, I went back, and I got bull, so I can show you what to do. So there's going to be these blue flames. So you're just going to want to... So you're going to look where the blue flame is. So if it's on the bottom, you go to the top, and if it's on the top, you go to the bottom. And you basically just jump. It's very easy. So yeah, that was the bull stage. So that that is actually the completion of the guide. Okay guys, so that was my guide on Ribby and Croaks. I hope this helped you in your Cuphead playthrough. So I will see you guys when I do Heldeberg. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing the guide on Heldeberg in Cuphead. So, I don't really need to tell you what I'm going to be using, because the planes are just default weapons. So, yeah. <laughs> We're just going to hop straight into it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so for Hildeberg, it is pretty easy. Uh, it's just, I think, it's actually the hardest in IL-1, but it's still fairly easy. IL-1 is like the tutorial. Oh, okay, so when she does that attack, you're just going to want to turn small and wash away. And with this, too, you're just going to want to turn small and just dash away from that. Just keep on shooting. She'll, 
she'll do that really fast. So, and then she'll turn back and she'll, she'll the, these green ones will start coming, which will shoot three and she'll start doing tornadoes, which you turn small just to, just turn small to dodge those. It's really easy to dodge them when you turn small. Okay, for this, I got Sagittarius. So basically he just shoots um, a bow and arrow, which like some blue stars chase you and you just gotta dodge them. It's pretty easy. Sagittarius is harder than twins, but not too hard. I will show the twins when I get the knockout because I don't get it this run. Okay, so she's back to normal stage. This is the last time we actually see her in her normal stage. She's gonna throw more tornadoes, more green ones might show up, you know, that's, the, that's a possibilities that happen. And now she's doing this, which means she's about to get on last stage. Just do as much damage as you can to her while she's transforming. Cause she's not attacking. Okay, so for this, for this one, there's a very important thing. So for the brown ones, you have to wait for them to do it. Cause they'll shoot right as you go. And then while you're under the red ones, it'll shoot. So you go, f you like wait for the brown ones and go through the red ones, like turn small and go through them. Like this, what I'm, what I just did, right there. And then we got the knockout, so yeah, it's a pretty easy boss. Okay, so I went back and I got the twins this time. So they basically just spin around in circles and they spawn this orb that will rapidly shoot at you. And you just gotta go around in circles, kind of dodging it. And they'll do that twice. Uh, I use my super here. <laughs> and yeah, they'll do that twice. So, yeah. Okay, so guys, so that was the guide on Hildeberg. I hope this helped you in your Cuphead playthrough. And I will see you guys when I do Isle 2. Peace.